So we're continuing on this theme of talking about the fool, the fool who uh, who doesn't uh, take heed to the counsel of God, the fool who rejects the counsel of God, the fool who is wise in his own eyes and in his own ways. And so as we look at this, he thinks he's more clever than everybody else. And so as he thinks he's more clever than everybody else, as I said yesterday, he thinks he could get one over on people and he thinks he could con them and he thinks he could devise evil ways evil ways that's going to cause harm to them, it's going to cause cruelty to them, maybe cause loss to them, maybe he's trying to con them out of their money or something like that. So he's devising these evil ways. And the Bible says this about them. In Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 20, it says, deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil. And so because they are a dishonest person, because they're a fool, they're a dishonest person because they think they're more clever than everybody else. They are a dishonest person. Uh, and because they don't care about anybody else, they're a fool that only cares about themselves. And they think they're right and everybody else is the fool. And so in his mind, he is continually devising evil ways and he's coming up with these evil plans and he's coming up with these evil schemes. And as a result, the Bible tells us in verse 21, it says, no harm befalls the righteous. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But the wicked are filled with trouble. As a result of that, the wicked are full of trouble. They're filled with trouble. You know, you look at them and there's never any peace in their life. There's never any joy in their life. There's never any contentment in their life. That They have hatred in their heart towards other people. That's the reason why they are devising these evil plans against other people and they're being deceitful. They certainly don't ever let anybody know their true self. And then that in and of itself causes them to be miserable people. They can't trust anybody because nobody can see the inner man. Nobody can see what's truly going on inside of them. And so they are then paranoid about everything and everyone around them. And so as a result of this, they're miserable, miserable people. And as the Bible says, the wicked are filled with trouble. Everywhere they go, they're devising evil plans and evil ways and evil schemes against everyone else, but it turns around and it comes back against them. You say, well, I look around today and it looks like the evil people of the world are prosperous. It looks like the evil people of the world are winning. It looks like the evil people of the world really are getting over on everybody else. But understand, it's all a facade. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all a light show. On the inside, they're miserable miserable people because they can't be honest. They're con artists. They can't let anybody, even those who think that they're close to this individual, they can't let them in on the inside. And they're continually, because of that hate, devising evil plans. And as a result, it comes back to get them. 